this is Chris here, and uh, Chris, we've been working with uh, your knee, right? Your right knee? Correct, correct. I've been having some uh, pain on my knee from running, rowing. Didn't really know what it was. Came in to see you guys. And now they're crossfitter. Correct. Right. Crossfit and running, so. Awesome. Yeah. I assume it's something to do with those two, so that's what I do for the daily. And you can tell, look at the man, he's in great shape. <laughs> um, and how's it been doing since we got started? Good. I was, uh, I was really worried. I, I, best way to explain it is I, I, the pain was about a five, but when I would sit down and lay down in bed, my knee felt like it was playing Tetris coming out of place. Um, I came in and used some stretches, finding out it's runner's knee, I think. So that's what I have, and the inflammation is a tough lot. You help me get some stretches, things I never even thought of to take the time to recover. Very cool. And then we're in, what, maybe six, seven visits in, something like that. So yeah, cool. It's the sixth, sixth visit here. And we're getting ready to probably release him back to doing some more uh, heavy exercise. He's been good on uh, the home exercise program we've given him, which is evidence-based exercises so that he can help himself out uh, and get to a point where, you know, he doesn't need to come in anymore. And so, um, so we'll just show you a treatment. I mean, we're doing a kinetic, some kinetic chain work on which means we're focusing on from pelvis all the way down to the feet to, to really help the knee recover fully so it doesn't keep coming back. So if you wouldn't mind just laying on your stomach here. So the first thing we'll do is, uh, if you want to take a look here, we'll just take a look at his legs and see if they're even. So we've been working on his pelvis and they're getting much, much better. It's, it's almost there. He's walking in today with, and I haven't seen him in two weeks. So, um, so he's held pretty darn well since the last time I saw him, which is great. Um, if the pelvis is out of whack, um, it causes tension in the hip muscles, which causes knee problems. So we always like to make sure that the pelvis is moving correctly and all lined up. And there's just a little pop in his lower SI joint there, which should get it all the way back to even. And it did. Perfect. Um, all right, sir, would you mind laying on this side here? Okay. So for Chris, uh, with his problem, what we've been doing is really working on the IT band, the quad. What was happening with him is this muscle was pulling his kneecap kind of over to the side and it was causing a lot of um, pain and tension into there. So I like to start by using this guy. It's an awesome little tool and it feels great to the patients. Um, but what it does is it helps just kind of loosen up the overall musculature so that I can get in there and do my work a lot easier. And knee pain, obviously, for runners, jumpers, um, is a crossfitters, people who do lots of lunging or boot camps. Um, it's a pretty common problem that we end up seeing. And fortunately, if you just do the right um, treatments mechanically, you can get people back pretty quick. I think you've been put, like, it was like around an eight when you first came in, right? Oh, yeah. And that was just even it was, with... Uh, it almost seemed like nerves were, were touching. It was, that, it was that sensitive when I first came in here. Feels good, huh? It does. I love this thing. I use it on myself all the time. Yeah, I mean, 350 is not bad for being able to give yourself a beef every day. All right, sir. So now what we're going to do is some work on his IT band and his quads. So with him laying on his side here, uh, this is where you might see his face grimace a little bit. <laughs> we're going to do some uh, um, muscle release here. So what you're going to do is actually straighten your leg out. So he's going to, you're going to start here, and then you're going to bend that way, okay? Good. And go a little bit slower, okay? There you go. Yeah, this is. You feel how much less tension there is in there? It's a lot better. Now the real trick is, as he goes back to running and lunging, is is just ramping things up and not going straight back into everything, but slowly ramping it up so that the tissue doesn't get injured again. And he has a knee sleeve that he wears, which um, helps 
heat the knee joint up and the muscles around it, which which he says helps quite a bit. The, the stretches is a really helpful ones that you, you give me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we give him some. Uh, so we have evidence based exercises for a bunch of different conditions. There's like a hundred different conditions we have evidence-based exercises for, which means there is really good research for the exercises that we, we prescribe for that condition. So if we can nail the diagnosis and get it right, we can prescribe a very specific exercise plan, um, which really helps with the care. It helps people, really what I want them to do, which is be their own best doctor, you know, so they don't have to keep coming back. Yeah, I thought you a decent amount of stretches from running from CrossFit and things were seemed really helpful to be able to do at home by myself. But he had a lot of tension uh, initially in his uh, patellar uh, ligament here too. So this is like knee tendonitis that a lot of people get. And um, we were able to, once we got the quad loose, he started getting a lot more loose in his patellar tendon here as well. <laughs> The other thing I like to do is just check the knee joint and uh, make sure he's got good movement in through there. He's still just a tiny bit restricted on the outside. So we use a drop piece for that knee. Good. And we'll give this whole load of restriction hole here. Better relax your leg there, Chris. There we go. Feel that in your hip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. It's, gets the hip nice and loose there. I'm going to go just a little bit more on the quad here. Sure. So, same thing, you're just going to bend back that sure. way, okay? Sure. soft in there. Excellent. And that's how we help people with runner's knee.